Hey there, Maniacs viewers. You're watching the Main Man channel. It's not just the name, it's the way of life. You got to improvise, adapt, and overcome. Each and every day, just making this cruel old world. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Check me out on all my social media. Links are in the description. Sign up for the Glock 19 giveaway. Sign up for the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. And sign up for whatever mud knife giveaway is going on. So, that being said, topic of today's video is. Alright, so, my county primaries are coming up here in Tennessee. Mays County is my county. Uh, my uh, state primaries will be coming up not long after that in August. And the state and federal primaries. And then, of course, uh, the big day, election day, will be coming up in November. And it's important that we get out and vote this year. Okay, folks. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world. A lot of stuff that we can't uh, control. That's true. Uh, we can't help that George Soros is filthy rich and controlling a lot of stuff. We can't help that Bill Gates is filthy rich and controlling a lot of stuff. We can't help that the Clintons are filthy rich and controlling a lot of stuff. We can't help that the Brandon family, Brandon family, you know what I'm talking about, is filthy rich and controlling a lot of stuff. We can't help that all the elites around the world are secretly collaborating together with their money and have corrupted the government of the entire world and trying to influence things with their money. We know when it comes to the Second Amendment, especially in this country, okay, that, but it's anywhere. It's an ever facet of government. So, what do we do? Well, what we do is, first thing, is the only two good Democrats that are any good that I know of right now is Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema. The rest of them, in every asset form of government, every whatever, the rest of the Democrats, they're on that bandwagon and they need to go. They need to go. We don't need them. They're in that socialist, woke agenda and everything. We don't need them. Okay. Now, the majority of the daggum Republicans are rhinos. What does a rhino mean? What I call a rhino is a career politician Republican who leans whichever way the wind blows. Even though they say they're Republican and have traditional American conservative values and they're for the Lord Jesus Christ and they're for uh, freedom in the Second Amendment and everything, they lean whichever way the wind blows. Okay? Just like the leadership of the NRA, they lean whichever way the wind blows. The NRA, we'll, we'll say something about the NRA real quick. The NRA, their main goal is to keep this gun fight going and keep us fighting for our rights because they make buku money off of it. Sorry about that notification. That's what NRA wants to do. All right, and so... The Rhino Republicans, they lean whichever way the wind's blowing. And uh, a lot of them are showing their true colors. Some of them are scared, too. But a lot of them are showing their true colors because the omnibus spending bill that had the uh, Violence Against Women Act and all the extra red flag law verbiage and all that stuff and uh, expanding ATF power and all that stuff, it got passed. Because a whole bunch of Republicans congressmen voted it in. And a whole bunch of, uh, uh, I think it was 18 Republican senators voted for it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, back to the topic. Uh, the primaries is where you select, you know, the candidates that are actually going to be running. 
And uh, most primaries are partisan primaries. You vote for, if you're more for Republican side, you're going to vote Republican. If you're more for uh, Democratic side, you're going to vote Democratic, of course. Uh, but anyway, I'd say with the things, the way things are going, no matter what, even if you have to vote for a rhino, they're probably the lesser evil than the Democrat. Because if you can get some good Republicans in there, they're going to lean whichever way they go. And if we Republicans take power, if we take power back of the Senate, the U.S. Senate, and we take power back of the U.S. House, of course the rhino Republicans will fall in line and lean the way they need to go. But we need to get rid of them as many as we can and get good Republicans in there. Good Republicans, like a like a guy I met online named Bill Crawford. And uh, Bill Crawford's running for a Tennessee uh, Senate position. You know, state, a state senator. Not a, not a federal senator, but a state senator. And, uh, you know, the guy he's running against, Mike Bell, has been in that job for a while. And he's not that bad of a guy, but he kind of does some rhino stuff. And so old Bill Crawford, he's like, you know, hey, will you kind of support me, you know, or try to help me out a little bit and vote for me and, and everything. And I was like, well, I asked him these three questions. Actually, I didn't even have to ask him all three questions. Actually, he answered them before I could even get them all asked. He said, I am for the Second Amendment totally, an unfringed Second Amendment. He doesn't like gun control. He doesn't like gun laws. He doesn't like anything like that. He says he's born again Christian, and he's a good man. That's another thing that I like. And uh, the third thing, you know, well, I mean, that's, that's really the main two things. And I, there was a third question. So, what I'm basically driving at, Bill's, Bill's my guy, I'm going to vote for him. And hopefully he makes it through the primary, and hopefully he'll be running against uh, my Bill. But anyway, that being said, and I'm going to try to convince as many people as I can with my little YouTube channel, you know. How many ever Tennesseans that are in this area and in this district? But anyway, point I'm trying to make is three questions you need to ask. Your... Whatever official is running for whatever office, even if it's the lowliest office. Do you believe in the Second Amendment? Are you for the Second Amendment? Now, if they start saying, well, I am, but, or, well, the if they start trying to give you a runabout answer instead of saying, yes, I'm totally for the Second Amendment or something like that, that's a red flag. We don't need that guy. Number two, you ask them, uh, do you believe in fair and balanced elections? And they're probably all going to say, yes, absolutely. And then you ask them another question, which is part of that question. Do you believe the orange man won? And if they say anything but that he did, that's a red flag right there. You don't want them. Number three. And number three is important to me. And it probably should be important to all y'all. And even if you're not religious and even if you're not a Christian, what could this hurt? Because they, if you ask them, are you, a Christian, are you a Christian? Whether they go to church or not. If they say yes, that's good. Because they believe Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior. And they believe in the Bible. And they believe in the Ten Commandments. And they believe in a strict moral code. Folks, whether you're a Christian or not, whether you believe in God or not, if you follow those Ten Commandments, one of them, a couple of them wouldn't pertain to you if you weren't Christian. But if you follow the other eight, I mean, and everybody followed the other eight, there would be world peace, people. Everything would fall into line. So what I'm saying is, if 
they got to be for the Second Amendment. they got to be for election integrity. they got to believe that the orange man won because he did. And they got to... Uh, they also got to... Uh, uh, believe the Lord. That's my opinion on that. And if they don't, any of those are red flags. We don't need them. That's my opinion on that. Y'all may have different ones. But that being said, also, I we've got a little bit more influence over that in the primaries. That's why it's important to vote in the primaries. That guy who may be in your senator's position or your mayor's position or whatever, however, if it's a local or whatever primary, that needed to be got out of there for 20 years may still win if we don't get enough people together and vote for one of these new candidates to get them in there running against them. So that's why them primaries are so important. It's to help get new blood in there when new blood needs to be in there and help get the proper members. Help get good people. Example, Bill Crawford for Tennessee Senator. Look him up on Facebook. Now, he's not... I mean, if you're in Texas, he's not going to help you out because you're in Texas. I mean, he's just running for a state senator. But, I mean, he's a good example. Former law enforcement officer, many years. Uh, and he's just a good example of, uh, of what we need to get in there. And uh, he answered all the questions and even answered questions before I could even ask him. And he answered them to a T. And he's just a good guy. So that's a good example of somebody to look for. And uh, that's all I got to say on that, guys. It's actually four questions we're asking them instead of three. Uh, do you believe in the Second Amendment? Do you believe in fair, honest elections? Do you believe the orange man won? And do you believe in Jesus Christ? Basically, that's all it is. Basically, that's it. So, I'm going to leave it at that. That's what I'm basing my stuff on. And that's probably pretty close to what you should base your stuff on when you're looking for the right candidate and voting for the right candidate. Now, you're probably going to say, Oh, well, what do we do if uh, we didn't get the candidate we wanted to in there? Well, pick from them and vote for the lesser of the evils. And I can pretty much 99% say that it's better to vote for a Republican, on the Republican side, even though they are a rhino, than it is to vote for a Democrat. And I will detail that reason, and my reasoning and thinking, in a future video. Anyway, sorry for the interruption. I gotta get off here. I think I've made my point and rambled about it long enough. But I love y'all. Y'all the best people in the world. God bless y'all. And we got to control what we can control. And casting our vote is still putting our voice out there. And uh, at least we know we did our part. And we voted for the best people that we thought we could. Anyways, love y'all. God bless y'all. Catch you next time.